Hey everyone, so just want to say a big shout out to a good friend of mine and sponsor Jason Greystone who runs Shield Global and the Always Free podcast. He's kindly sponsoring today's filming and I just want to say if you're looking to offload your social media or you're looking to learn financial freedom education, there's only one place you go. You head over to Jason Greystone and go and learn from him. He's an awesome guy. Would you rather have a million pound cash today or would you rather have a penny that doubles every day for 31 days? Oh, I'll just have the money. Just give me a million pound cash. It's fine. Sure. Yeah, and I'm not in it for the long haul. Just give me it now. And I'll spend it all tomorrow. Yeah. Well, if you would have picked the penny, yeah. by day 31, you would have had about just over 10 million pounds. Oh, no. No, it's fine. <laughs> I'm all about today. I'll just have the money today. Don't worry about it. I'm not yet. Yeah, genuinely. You never know <laughs> what's going to happen tomorrow. You might, be, you might not be here. Oh, probably a million pound today. That sounds perfect. I'd love that. That was sick. <laughs> well, if you would have picked the penny, by day 31, you would have had just over 10 million pounds. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> I'm not patient. <laughs> well, I think I'd have to go with a million pound today. Why would you go for the million pound? Why? Because then I'd be a millionaire. Well, if you would have picked the penny on the 31st day, you would have had just over 10 million pounds. How does that work then? Today we're asking people, yeah. when you were at school, out of all the lessons that we were learning, because I'm trying to figure out if the education system is broken, I yeah, personally I think it is. How many lessons and subjects do you actually use day to day now? To do with my degree, I do English for student at the moment. A little bit of language classes like French. I don't know, I enjoyed some of the stuff, like philosophy, learning how you should be doing, should be living. Apart from that, not, not much. Do you remember this quote when a teacher used to say, well, you need to know math because you're not going to walk around with a calculator in your pocket? Yeah, well, maybe we are. <laughs> <laughs> we do. <laughs> Cheers, dude, thanks. No okay, so today we're asking people, is social media ruining relationships? chips. Absolutely. Your whole life's played out on it these days. Because I think like it's so quick to judge. People are out like having a, meant to be having a nice time with a partner, but they're too busy posting and sort of engaging with each other. And I think it's crazy the fact that you can actually choose a partner by swiping and having a checklist. Do you yeah. not think? I mean, that's crazy. Yeah. You don't meet people face to face. Like we've been married six years together, ten, and like we just met normally, and it was just like you get to know somebody better, and you actually get to see the true me as you look into somebody's eyes. Great answer do you enjoy your job what future goals do you have uh, i really enjoy that because i know the area here yeah, yeah the future what goals have you got uh, what do you want to do save money no if save you work, money. save money for buy some house for yeah. the future you can buy a house yeah save you save make money. investments investment yeah. and enjoy life enjoy life for it joel have a great day. Hey, Cheers, dude. Too, so today, I'm asking people, do you go to university? I do a foundation course, but I'm going to uni this September. Okay, perfect. So I want to ask, why are you going to university? Do you think that it is a result of, is it parents? Was it your decision? Why are you going to uni? Well, my dad definitely pushes it onto us. Also, all my siblings went. Also, I feel like I feel like I don't really know what else I would do because I'm doing like graphic design and I feel like I don't know where else I would like pick up like the connections. I just feel like and I want to move out the con uh, move out of Brighton and I feel like that's like the perfect opportunity because I would never be able to afford to live in London if I didn't have like the loan. So that's quite a big part of it. If you could spend a million pound in three ways, where's your money going? Oh my gosh. Um <laughs> property travel one more clothes okay not a bad choice you didn't get any of that by the way you didn't get any of the million quid so <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh there we go love that good answers thanks so much where's your money going a new house new car and holidays oh look at that simple but effective yeah. love that thanks so much lawrence you're such a flirt today we're asking people if you had a million quid in cash how are you spending it in three different ways i reckon house a lot of music stuff so that never goes down in value right sweets Sweets. <laughs> so there's, I, said, I mean, how much? How much is the house worth? I want to work out how much is going on music and sweets. Oh, a lot on sweets. What? Seventy on the house. Thirty. Seventy twenty. Or seventy twenty. Seventy twenty ten. That's yeah. hundred, right? <laughs> I mean, that's that's a lot of money on sweets. Can I ask what sweets are you buying? So I make just pure sugar, because otherwise it's a waste, right? If you get something like chocolate, it's gonna it's gonna melt or, or mold up, right? I've, I've got to ask just before we finish. No one's ever said sweets, but what what kind of sweet man are you? I've been loving the Skittles clouds. The Skittles clouds are incredible. Shout out them, James. I've always liked you. <laughs> Cheers, dude. If you were born 10 years ago, how old would you be? 10 years ago, how old would I be? I'd be 36. If you were born 10 years ago, how old would you be? I'm not very good at stuff like this, sorry. I'm not even thinking, sorry. I'm too dense for questions like this. Basically, I'm like the, the Jack Reelish of Brighton. <laughs> if you were born 10 years ago, how old would you be? Um... 
<laughs> um, 10 years ago, I will be 10 years ago. So I'm 18 now. 2014. 2015, 16, 17, 18, 19. Viral clip. Eight. <laughs> Look, listen. Cl listen closely. If oh, 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 I get okay. it. 2000. I would be born in 2013. So that would make you. Ten. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well done.